death to the false emperor. You will die by the hand of chaos. Don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos. Hello and welcome to Forkmonster's video log for the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system created by, created by Games Workshop in the UK. I'm an old hobby member going far back, collecting since the year 2000 uh, during the third ed. Mostly nothing big. I actually used to play with my models, uh, so I bought uh, uh, those which I thought looked cool uh, rather than collecting them for the actual uh, gaming. Uh, I consider myself a fluff or a nor lore Nazi, and I follow the fluff as strictly as possible. I am, however, open for change, as that's what the game is all about, and I can accept unfluffy collectors, uh, but it's not my cup of tea, so it's not something I would do myself. On my personal time, I play way too many video games, paint 40k models, and sit by the computer or watch some uh, television. I'm a huge fan of many t TV shows such as How I Met Your Mother, Doctor Who, Stargate, Las Vegas, The X-Files and many many more. My first two series armies which I collected was Tau, uh, which I uh, also sold last year due to economic crisis in, uh, on my personal behalf and I was out of room f to keep anyone ar around me, the, my room was too small. Uh, and Imperial Guard, which was mostly Steel Legion and Kedians, but I only have a few, a few of those left uh, from that era, actually. I also bought some Lord of the Rings, uh, which now in Aftermath, I'm still wondering why, what the hell I was thinking, uh, as it was a very bad move for me to buy those models. They are very nice, and nicely done, but I was not something I wanted to collect or uh, game with, so that's what I regret most. I do not own any of them anymore, however. I also had a Tyranids army, which I began to collect back in 2004. Uh, that was after the Lord of the Rings uh, hype had uh, ended. The Tyranids has been sold uh, since then, together with my Tau, my Lord of the Rings elements, and my Warmer Fantasy models as well. I forgot to mention, back in the beginning of my hobby, I also collected uh, High Elves. Uh, not a big force, uh, but uh, big enough for me to play around with. Uh, those were the first models to go, actually, which I've sold all, all of, over the years to, to come since then. Uh, now we're in the year 2008, uh, which is uh, when I once again began to collect uh, Imperial Guard. Uh, but unlike the last time, uh, when it was mostly inhabited by Steel Legion members, now it's a pure Cadian force. The 4th and 11 companies of the 443rd Cadian Infantry Regiment. Uh, I will go into a deeper detail in a later video. Uh, this is just a quick overview. Overview. I have a command squad led by Captain Ivory Bow. I have four platoons with uh, with uh, three squads uh, in each platoon, not counting heavy weapons. I got four uh, walkers, walk walkers, uh, and five tanks and some elite choices: stormtroopers and curses, curses. Kasekin, something, <laughs> whatever. So, here in the timeline and the history of Hork Master's uh, hobby, we have reached the year 2010 when the seductive ruinous powers corrupted me and I fell from the Emperor's grace. Uh, I, was, uh, I started beginning, it began in 2009 actually, when I be began to read the Horace Heresy books, uh, the first uh, books published from Black Library ever to be read by, by me. Uh, in, uh, sure, I had to reread some of the, those stories as I had problem grasping the, what was actually going on and seeing what was actually happening. Uh, but I would, uh, I would say my uh, learning and reading has improved ever since. Uh, so now it's uh, much more easier to read the stories and grasping the, the bigger picture what's actually going, around, uh, 
going on around. There are some offers I have still some problem with, uh, but I will return to that in a future video uh, try, to try and explain that. Uh, the the Horus uh, Heresy book which captured captured me the most was the story about Fulgrim, uh, which is the story about uh, the Primarch of the Emperor Children's Legion, who f went from being per uh, the per perfectionists to becoming uh, slaves to Slanesh uh, uh, grasp kind of. And it's still my favorite, uh, still today. And that's where it began in the autumn of 2010, I believe, when I bought my first uh, noise, my first noise marines. Uh, I I had owned some KS marines uh, elements before, like Death Guard and a couple of Corn Berserkers, but uh, nothing major. This, I would, uh, however, say was the beginning of my collection of Chaos Space Marines. And that's when I started with my Emperor's Children, uh, which I believe has a reach over 3000 points by now. And I would say is finished. Uh, my army is complete. Uh, I will turn in a future video to show them more properly, but this is how it's... Uh, this is just a quick overview, overview of the my history to say so. Uh, the posters which you will see in the video right now are property of Black Library and Games Workshop as said in the descriptions. I'm only using them for uh, uh, imagery, imagery uh, purposes only uh, and to promote their very fantastic stories. Uh, so, now we continue with the year 2011, which is was a very rough year for me, uh, on a personal level. Uh, I won't go into details, as that's just my own business. Uh, but it resulted with me having to leave the suburbs and uh, moving into the big city. Uh, I loved moving, but not the reasons why I had to move. Uh, and this is also why I had to sell my Tau, my Tyranids, my Lord of the Rings, and my uh, Warmer Fantasy models, because there wasn't s enough space. In in the old house, I had my own room, and I had an entire basement uh, where I could contain my models. Uh, but after, when, we, when I moved, I lost the basement, so now I only had a room. And which means I had to sell to make room for new models. Uh, and this is when I got into the second hand business of uh, uh, Warmer. And I found some very good prices for uh, some Iron Warriors. Which led to me starting to collect them. Uh, I had for about a year or so uh, collected Emperor Children, and I was kind of getting a little bit tired of only doing a Slanesh themed army. I wanted some var variety, so I went for this mostly corn based but uh, chaos undivided influenced army instead. Uh, I actually loved the Iron Warriors ever since reading Storm of Iron, written by Graham McNeil. Which is a fantastic story. He's also the, uh, the same author behind Fulgrim, so you can tell which author I really like. Uh, and also one reason behind behind why I had to, uh, or, why, or why I wanted to start the Iron Warriors is because I had, as I said earlier, Death Guard and some World Eaters, the Circular. Uh, and I couldn't use them in my Emperor Children's army because that would be very unfluffy of me. And as I also also said already, I'm a very very strict fluff person or lore. Fluff sounds not so good. It's a very r ridiculous word actually. Uh, so as of July 2012, uh, I consider my Emperor's Children, Iron Warriors and Imperial Guard to be finished. All of those armies are done, nothing more to add or uh, complete or something like that. 
Uh, luckily, I had already begun on a new project, and that happened to be Night Lords 10th and 11th, com 11th companies. Uh, back in 2010, I read Soul Hunter, the first Night Lords, uh, the, uh, the first book in the Night Lords tr trilogy, and the second book overall by the author Aram Skibauden, I think, uh, second or third. Uh, prior to reading this, I had a simple attitude. Man, I freaking hate those bat marines. But only because of Dark Disciple, a word bearer story, uh, which caught me. I needed more Kia Space Marines to read about this, like, I want this corruption. Uh, Aram Demsky bowed and showed them in a completely different light, and but it simply made me love them. Uh, this was the slow start as I at the moment was undergoing my Imperial Guard and my Imp Emperor Children period, so that's why I didn't begin to collect any Night Lords. Uh, so now we reached the spring of 2012 uh, and I thought to myself I needed some fast attack for my both Iron Warriors and Emperor Children's army. So I thought to myself why not make some mercenaries that which could work for both of them and be useful in either way. So why not make them Night Lords and have them as mercenaries which could be used both as Slaneshi uh, friendly and to the Emperor children or simply yeah friends to the Iron Warriors <laughs> friends uh, allies or on uh, not shooting each other terms and I, I really wanted the Raptors as I many hate those models but I love them uh, the only mistake I made was to buy them in metal when I should have bought them fine cast I, I'm thinking about buying furthermore uh, Raptors as fine cast, but that's uh, something for the future to sh show. Uh, at that moment, I was really tired at s simply painting purple and gold models. As I said earlier, I had a 3000 points army of Emperor Children. Imagine how many Emperor Children have I had painted by them. Uh, so I needed some new inf inspiration. It was by then I found uh, Warboss Tay's uh, channel here on YouTube, and he showed uh, very good um, tutorials tutorials for painting uh, Night Lords, and I was like, man! First, uh, Aram Demsky Bowden placed the seed, and now it's grown. Now I really wanted, I I just wanted Night Lords. Uh, so I'd like. They became the Bleeding Eyes, based upon the characters in Aram Demsky's Bowden's Night Lords trilogy. And I have a, when I started something, I uh, simply can't stop. So this was the beginning for my Night Lords. Uh, after that, I began with First Claw, uh, Taylor Squad, and now I'm moved up to around four squads or so of Night Lords. Uh, yeah, so he had uh, amazing uh, good techniques and painting tips. So I would really recommend uh, Warboss Tay if you want to need some help with the uh, uh, painting guide. Uh, if you visit him, please tell him I sent you because I'm a great fan of him. Yeah, so the main purpose behind this v vlog, as I, uh, which I've uh, begun here today is to reach out to both all the new members of the Warhammer community and show my slightly beneath average painted models and well pimp up my old YouTube account and boost myself in a new type of media. Uh, this uh, I can say already now uh, this uh, profile is my oldest account. I have a, a couple of others as well but this is my main account which I will try and use for this vlog. Uh, it has some old videos and some very irrelevant ir irrelevant videos and some nasty comments on them but I hope this will be a new start for me and a hopefully a successful one. For this this first video I simply just wanted to use my voice and not videotape anything so that's why I've used a uh, voice recording rather than uh, videotaping something and editing together. Hopefully it will become a good 
product or finished uh, finished project. Uh, so I hope you liked this information and what I had to tell you and I hope you found it very useful. Please uh, rate, like my videos and if you don't like them, please don't dislike them and um, rate them. Uh, give me comments of uh, tips or helpful uh, advice or whatever which you think I should be using on my models or my videos. I can say, tell you right now at this moment uh, I, I'm, I like critique, uh, critique but I'm very bad at taking upon me yes I would do this change I'm a very slow learner to say so so be patient I do try to I will try and respond to comments unless they are unnecessary ones but uh, we will hope we won't have any of those and I hope to see you in the future. Check my description box. Uh, oh, sorry. Let's check my description box for further information.